Ngayon, ang OSI actually has seven layers. Okay? Ito yung seven layers niya. No? So, we have, of course, yung pinakamababa, that's the physical layer. Then, we have the data link layer, the network layer, transport layer, session, presentation, and application. These are the seven layers of the OSI. Okay? And versus doon naman sa ating TCP IP, ito naman yung mga layers ng TCP IP natin. Notice, mas konti lang siya compared doon sa OSI. No? We have the network access. We have the network. We have the transport. And we have the application layer. And usually, pagka pinagkakontra sila, makikita nyo na yung tatlong layers ng OSI, eh parang isa na lang sa TCP IP. Correct? Actually, ang tinanggal dito yung presentation at saka session. Kasi sa ating mga network engineers, tayo mga network engineers, tatandaan po natin, na tayo ay nagtatrabaho lang from physical to transport. Dito lang tayo nagtatrabaho. Okay? And itong application layer natin ay ginagamit natin as tools. Mga gamit natin ito. So, yung presentation layer at saka yung session layer, hindi natin masyadong nagagamit yan. No? And usually, yung gumagamit nito, yung mga application developers, mga programmers, etc. Pero tayo mga network engineers, basically, dito tayo nagtatrabaho. And, of course, our tools, which is in the application layer. That's why, may kita nyo, dun sa TCP IP, ang TCP IP has application this is our tools. These are tools for us. And then you have the transport, which is basically the same doon sa kabila. Yung network layer ni TCP IP, actually tinatawag na ito, hindi na network layer. This is now called the internet layer. Okay? Hindi na siya network layer, but an internet layer. Alright? And then yung data link and the uh, physical layer. Kung mapapansin natin, isang layer na lang siya sa TCP IP and that is the network access. But uh, usually, kapag pinagkakontras itong dalawa, halos pareho lang sila talaga ng function. Eh, na yung data link and physical of the OSI will have the same function as the network access. Yung network, tsaka internet layer, same function. Transport, at tsaka transport, pangalan pa ng pareho na, no? And yung application layer to the application layer of the, o, the TCP IP is the same. Wala na nga lang yung presentation at saka session. Okay? So, in contrast, kung mapapansin nyo, halos pareho lang sila. No? Halos pareho lang ng trabaho. Pero actually, may, may malaki silang pagkakaiba. No? Kasi ito, pag tinignan mo ito technically in books, this is hardcore uh, layered uh, model. Meaning, they really rely on layers. Okay? Pero ito hindi masyado. No? Maintindihan nyo yan if you read the technical uh, uh, books about TCP, IP, and OSI. And if you look at RFCs. Okay? Ano ba yung mga RFCs? R RFC stands for Request for Comment. Ito yung standard document of IETF. Okay? So, pag tinignan mo yung mga technical uh, uh, technical points about TCP IP and OSI, you will see that OSI is really strict on its layering while ang TCP IP ay hindi masyado. Alright? Pero, nasa basics pa lang naman tayo, no? So, ang pag-uusapan lang natin dito muna sa ngayon, okay, ay kung paano gumagana itong mga layers na to, no? So, unahin natin Si OSI, paano ba ang data encapsulation for OSI? Uh -huh. 